All right, now we're going to learn about how to use a random function and what we can do with it, okay? So right now we have all these LEDs flashing on us, right? Okay, they're flashing on, they're flashing off. That's because we told each one of these to turn on using the for loop, okay? So this time we're going to get a little tricky. I'm going to show you what's going to happen here, okay? I'm going to write the code and then I'm going to explain the code. So... What I want to do here is strip dot set pixel color, right? Capital P, capital C, start my parentheses. Now, instead of telling every pixel to be on, or instead of selecting a pixel, I'm going to let the Arduino select the pixel to turn on, okay? So if I were to type in random, which is a function, start my parentheses and type in nine and my parentheses. What this is going to do is return a number from zero to eight. It'll actually return a number from zero to 8.9999999, right? It'll never actually hit nine, which is perfect for what we're doing here. But it's not quite the right way to write this out, right? Because even though right now we have nine pixels, we want our code to always be uh, portable. So if we decide to do 40 pixels, all we should have to do is up top here in the code, change our LED count to 40 and it should work just the exact same. Okay. So instead of writing nine, we should be writing L E D underscore count. Okay. So what that's going to do is everywhere where it says LED count, it's gonna erase it. The compiler's gonna erase it and replace it with nine. So it's gonna say there's nine pixels on here. It's gonna choose a random number between zero and nine, never actually hitting nine. And then for every pixel up to nine, which, well, up to eight, it's gonna turn them off, okay? So this is a better way to do it. Don't type in how many pixels you have. Use your defined statements okay use your define your compiler variable here okay so under a loop first thing we're going to do is set pixel color the pixel will be randomly selected by the processor right and we're going to make it i don't know a fully green a little bit of green let's do that so led count so random led count comma zero comma 100 comma zero Okay, so what it's going to do is pick a random pixel, turn it green, right? So pick a random pixel between 0 and 8, turn it green, broadcast it to the strip. Wait a second, turn all the pixels off, broadcast it to the strip, wait a second, okay? So let's see if that works, and let's... Uh, Let's not let's make it not so clunky. <laughs> Cause right now this is I mean it's gonna work, it's gonna work just fine, but it's a little bit clunky of a code. So okay, we got that pixel on, now we got this pixel on. Alright, so now we're random pixels are turning on, right? Kinda cool, but not that like engaging, not that like fun to watch. Okay. So See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I counted wrong in my first video. Whoops. <laughs> we actually have eight pixels. That's easy to fix because our code is portable. Okay. But also, it's not very like fun. It's kind of slow code. So what I'm gonna do is change my delay from a thousand to a hundred. Each one of these. Now I'm gonna head upload. Hey, there we go. Now the LED's sort of dancing around. Cool, right? So I'm gonna do that here. I'm also gonna copy this and paste it in my code. Right, so now I've got two of these. So I'm gonna make one turn green and one turn blue. Now it could actually be the same one, so we could have only one blue pixel on, 
but typically it's going to be one's green, one's blue. So let's upload that and make some dancing pixels here. All right. Now we got two pixels dancing around. <laughs> kind of fun, right? So we got a nice little program here to play with. Okay. So like I said, this program is kind of clunky here. Okay. So right now it turns these two on and then turns all them off. Okay. So let's go back to having that single pixel on and let's fix this a little bit. Okay. So at the beginning of our code, we're going to create an integer called pixel. Okay, and we're going to have it equal a random value between 0 and 8. Okay. And so instead, we'll call it pixels. There we go. That way it doesn't interfere with other things. I saw it turned orange, and I try to avoid those variables. Okay, so we'll call this pixels. We'll make it a value between 0 and 8. And so instead of setting that random pixel, we're just going to replace that with our variable we made called pixels. Okay. But now instead of turning every single LED off, all it's going to do is strip dot set pixel color pixels comma zero comma zero comma zero. Okay. Pixels. There we go. Okay, so now at the start of our loop, we create a variable, an integer variable called pixels. And it's going to equal between 0 and 8.999999. But an integer cannot hold a decimal. So it's going to between, be between 0 and 8. Okay. Then it's going to set that pixel right there to green. It's going to broadcast it to the strip. It's going to wait one tenth of a second. It's going to turn that exact pixel off, broadcast it to the strip, and wait half a second. Okay? So let's upload that. Now we could also make like, like this one called is called pixels. I can make pixel green, pixel red, pixel blue equal random things. Turn the three of them on, turn the three of them off, right? But this is what our code looks like now, right? It's a little cleaner. Turns on one pixel, waits one tenth of a second, turns it off, waits one tenth of a second. And when I said between zero and eight, I did this wrong again. And for those of you who are paying attention earlier, you know what I did wrong here. There's two things wrong with this, actually. First of all, we only have eight pixels, not the nine that I miscounted. <laughs> Second off, this code is not portable. This should be LED underscore count. Okay. So let's upload that. And if you caught me earlier, good job. <laughs> good job paying attention. All right. So I could also pretend that I only have like three pixels, right? And I hit upload. And now it's just going to go between the first three. All right. So now it's just going to turn on the first three. And you notice this one's still on. I'll explain that why, why that is in another video. Basically, it's because we're only broadcasting the first three. We're not sending any more data to the rest of the pixels. But if we just had three pixels, right, that'd be working. And so now with our portable code, type in 8 again and hit upload. All right, so now it's going between all 8 again. Cool. So this is 103. Uh, thanks for watching.